Lord. The Lord has spoken with me this night. The Lord spoke with me this night, beloved people. I see there is a meeting I'm going to, and then the Lord glorifies his servant. A tremendous amount of glory comes over his servant. The Lord glorifies his servant. There's a meeting I'm going to, and the Lord does glorify his servant. Tremendous glory of the Lord comes like, uh, almost like what happened in Helsinki when he totally transfigured his servant, covered him with his glory, white total glory. There is great, big, radiant glory. And when the man of God moves, the glory beams, glows all over and covers the entire place and room. So there is a meeting I'm going to. I do not know whether it is Sweden, because I'm headed to Sweden, the big conference in Europe in Sweden, or it is the subsequent meeting, the following meetings in Spain, maybe Australia. But there is a meeting I'm going to where the Lord will glorify his servant. And right now I'm on my way to Sweden. So maybe it is Sweden. Or if not Sweden, it is uh, it's, uh, Spain or Australia. But there is a meeting I'm going to where the Lord is going to glorify me totally with pure white glory. And when I walk in, the, the glory glows pure white, blinding in fact. Glows, radiates and glows. So these are the times we live in, beloved people, the Messiah is coming. This is the servant about whom the Bible wrote that he would send a messenger to prepare the nations and the people for the glorious coming of the Messiah. So please turn away from all sin and wickedness. Turn away from lie. Turn away from perversion. Turn away from falsehood, corruption, sexual sin. Turn away from the false pro- corruption, the prostitution you see in the church, promiscuity, spiritual promiscuity, where people are born again, on Sunday and the other days they are walking nude, dressing of women and men. There is no care. The corruption, the preaching of this, the, the defiling of the grace of the Lord. Remember the book of Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 to 6, warns on the abuse of the grace. And remember Hebrews chapter 10, verses 26 to 31, warns on the abuse of the grace you see in the church. And remember Second Peter chapter 2, verses 19 to 22, warns also on the abuse of the grace. There is only one sacrifice, the blood of Jesus sacrificed on the cross at Calvary, so you cannot abuse it. That is the blood sacrifice that brings the church into salvation, deliverance, and entry into eternity in heaven. I have seen the Messiah come. The prophecies I've given have been fulfilled, including the prophecy of the Lord writing so much text across the sky for me. I say these things in the teachings of the bishop. I say them on radio also. These prophecies have been fulfilled. The Messiah is coming. And he's going to take a holy church, a righteous church, a church which is obedient and faithful, trustworthy, dependable, in the fear of God, in wisdom, integrity of heart, purity, These are beautiful things I'm talking to the church. Nobody says these things. Everybody's up again, gain, gain, gain. Money, 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 money. And corruption in the church. But you have the privilege, you are being told about the virtues of heaven. Virtues of eternity. How can you fail to enter as a nation, as a church, as a generation all over the world? The Messiah is coming, beloved people. Don't fool around with this voice. You will go to hell if you fool around. Keep away the wickedness and evil. Choose holiness. Choose righteousness. Choose the fear of God. Integrity. Wisdom. Faithfulness. Obedience. Trustworthiness. Beyond reproach. Above God. Change your dressing. Change the way you dance in the church. Remove immorality from the church. 